Hey CJ Math students, welcome to uh, part two of notes 4.1. Um, so hopefully you've done problems one through four on buzz math right now. You've paused the video, you've done them. That way you don't have to watch this video and then be like, oh, there's so much information and then go back and be like, I forget this. I'm just gonna guess and then it lowers your content grade, right? Um, so number five, we're using what we've learned about exponents, which is the base times itself, right? This is, this is really negative seven uh, times, uh, we'll, we'll talk about this in a second, but this is seven times seven, right? What this means is when the, when the negative sign is not in parentheses, this means the opposite, take the opposite of seven times seven. Where did I get seven times seven? It's just that seven squared. So seven times seven is 49. So our answer here is negative 49, because what's the opposite of 49? It's negative 49. So our answer here, when there are no parentheses around the negative sign, your answer is uh, negative. So sorry, so negative 49. Now, what do you think about when there are parentheses around it? So this is saying, OK, this is saying you have uh, negative 7 squared. And you want to say, all right, I want to do negative 7 times negative 7, right? I want to take the number negative 7 and multiply it by itself twice. And when I do that, I get a positive 49. Why do I do that? Because two negatives, a negative times a negative, is a positive. So I get a positive 49. So no, no parentheses, it's negative. Parentheses, I'm saying, oh, OK, I want to take that actual number. Now think about this for a second. Um, if it was negative 7 to the third, my answer would be negative 7 times negative 7 times negative 7. And I would get an actual negative as my answer because I had three negatives there, right? So um, it doesn't just mean because there's a parenthesis that my answer is positive, right? It means, OK, I'm actually multiplying the negative number by itself, right? So if I take a look at C, true or false, well, I'm just going to look at my answer for A. Well, negative 7 is negative 49. And then parentheses, negative 7 squared is 49. So is this true? Is negative 49 bigger, bigger than 49? No, absolutely not. It's false. Now, on your buzz math, this is why I'm telling you to pause it, you might have something that says like negative 7 less than uh, negative 7 squared, right? That would be a true answer, right? Because this is negative 49, and negative 49 is less than 49. So look carefully at the sign. Pause the video, do number five. All right, number six is our old friend order of operations. So we're going to move these into the correct order. Obviously, it's parentheses first, then exponents, then multiplication or division from left to right, right? And then addition, subtraction from left to right. This does not mean I always multiply before I divide. It does not mean I always add before I subtract. If subtraction popped up first, I would do that. Uh, B, it says when simplifying the expression, what do you do first? All you have to say is what I do first. So I should look. Do I have parentheses? Yeah, I have parentheses. 7 plus 4. Do I add 4 plus 7? No, because that's a trick. They're trying to say, do you do that first? No, you do what's in, oops, sorry. You do what's in the um, parentheses first. So it says find the sum of 7 plus 4. So that's what you're going to do first. Find, find the sum of 7 plus 4. All right, so look very careful. This is a trick answer right there. Don't, don't select that one, it's this one. All right, so then number seven is the last one you're actually gonna do on this one. Um, and you have an order of operations problem. So you have um, 20 minus five, and you have to use post-it notes on this. Use post-it notes. Uh, do parentheses first. Notice you have two parentheses, so you can do them both at the same time. So this is 15 plus three cubed times, and you can do this one, six. So since we've done that, now we can go on and see, do I have exponents? Yes, I do. That's 15 plus, what is 3 cubed? That's not 3 times 3, right? That's 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. Again, you could use the calculator, and on the calculator, you could use 3 caret 3. Right? And they'd say, oh, that's 27, right? And times 6. And no, I don't expect you to know what 27 times 6. So again, you can use the calculator. And obviously, our next step is to multiply. You're not going to add 15 plus 27 because multiplication comes before addition in order of operations. So 27 times 6 uh, gives you 162. And now, finally, you add up 15 plus 162. And you get your answer of 177. Okay. Um, in order to check, you could also literally write this exactly how it is in the calculator. Um, 
in calculators are usually programmed to do order of operations. So again, skip questions 8 and 10. Um, if you got a problem wrong, um, I would go back and get a bunch right to up your content. You should have been pausing throughout the video um, to make sure that you know you got a concept and then you applied it right away. You, you learned a concept and applied it right away. That's why I asked you to do the notes, pause it, and then do BuzzMath. Um, we're going to do this last um, part of the notes uh, together. So that's the end of this notes.